the third quarter, did you personally make more of a conscious effort to be more aggressive, or was that just kind of how the game went? Uh, just playing in the flow. Everything, just waiting for the opportunities, letting the game come to me, and uh, just trusting that uh, we were just going to make the right basketball plays out there for one another. First time playing in Toronto since February 2019. Uh, is it good to be back here at all? Or is yeah, it, uh... yeah, I love Toronto. Yeah, it's a good place. And, uh, Kevin only had 10 shots and 12 points, but you guys still got a pretty secure win. Is that encouraging for this team? Uh, well, we're all just going to play the, the game the right way. I mean, we know what Kev's capable of. Um, and some nights it's going to look like this for us, but I wouldn't count on it uh, being consistent. You know, he's he's going to do his thing out there on the scoring end. Um, but he, he was impactful in other ways tonight. Uh, three block shots, um, plus minus a 30, only 12 points, 5 for 10. I mean, I'll take it in the win. You didn't seem bothered by it at all. You actually seem happy. It just is that way. It's that kind of energy you got off of. Yeah, we're in the business for winning, so... Uh, we'll take this one, especially after last night's loss and <laughs> whole internet going up in an uproar in terms of how embarrassed we should be, um, which is true. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we just wanted to make sure we paid attention to detail tonight, came out, responded. I heard that word embarrassed tossed around a few times in the locker room. Is that something that you guys genuinely felt after last night? Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Were there lessons learned from not just the Philly game, but also, I mean, obviously LeBron was out and then the late game. Sacramento. I mean, were there lessons learned about, I guess, how focused you guys have to be, even when teams are short? Uh, I. I, I can agree with you in terms of uh, that statement, uh, but also I would add this: is is a game of basketball is becoming a multi-dimensional, um, you know, type of performance out there. Young guys are, are coming at us older guys every single night, and they're running at a very quick pace. Threes are going up left and right. Um, you know, if even if you look at Philly's game, the game against Philly yesterday, I think we shot above 60% or a little bit around 60%, and we held them to lower than 44%. Um, but they had a lot more threes. They had a lot more opportunities on the offensive glass, um, and they were just creating more momentum. So I think the game is becoming a lot younger, more athletic. Guys are getting to the three-point line, and us as, um, quote, unquote, you know, the guys that are 10 plus in, the, in this league, we got to keep up and um, make sure we're playing our type of style of basketball, which is everyone's touching it. Um, and everyone has the ability to score when we're being aggressive. Jack, uh, in the past, you mentioned focus is possibly being an issue. In the middle of the game, is there a way to press the reset button to kind of make sure that you get back on track? Yeah, I, I think every timeout gives us a chance to reset. Um, you know, obviously, when you go into halftime, uh, you want to see where you could uh, exploit the offense and defensive tactics. Um, but the focus level does have to be at all-time high, especially when we're going against the teams uh, that are keying in on us. And um, we just got to be up every single night getting, being prepared for it. Hey, Kylie. Um, yeah, Dennis uh, is playing really well uh, these last games. Uh, do, do you see anything different in, in him? Uh, just playing with a lot more confidence, and that starts on the internal belief. Um, he's got to believe in himself. We've said that since the beginning. I've said it since the beginning. Proud of him. Uh, just want to con want him to continue to be consistent uh, in his approach and just how much fun he's having out there, uh, especially on the defensive end. He makes a big difference for us. Oh, well, I mean, everybody can see what Ben is capable of defensively. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot's been made of Ben and Nick coexisting offensively, floor spacing. So, uh, what have they done, I guess, late to kind of improve their ability to play and coexist and thrive together offensively? And what do they need to continue to do? Uh, well, I, what I think they've gotten, uh, I think they've gotten used to one another uh, in terms of our, the spacing uh, and where guys are going to attack. Ben's being more aggressive at the point of attack. Nick's having the ability to play off the ball in terms of not necessarily being our main screener. Um, but when he is, he creates opportunities. And, and Ben's passing ability is off the charts. Uh, I mean, he creates so many opportunities when they double me or Kev. So uh, we, we just have to utilize our pieces a lot more. And, and those guys, when they're playing up-tempo and doing the little things for us, um, and I don't mean just screening, uh, but just making the right basketball play and everyone feels good, then... Um, it'll continue to, to be something that we can positively reinforce every single day. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And we can uh, build on this opportunity with Nick and, and Ben by just holding them accountable the same way they hold us accountable and just supporting one another. Thank you.
Said. Uh, yes, uh, a question about uh, you talked about your own me. I, I know that uh, he's, he's been out uh, today, uh, but he's, I'm going to say that uh, he's, he's performing uh, very well. Uh, uh, the same as uh, Ben, do you, think, do, do you see anything different in him, in Utah Watanabe? He's the best shooter in the world right now. <laughs> you know, stats prove it right now. He's the best in the world, best best shooter in the best league in the world right now. So, um, you know, we just want him to remain confident uh, and shoot the opportunities that he gets out there. He, he makes the game a lot easier for us. And when you have um, guys that are willing to sacrifice uh, their body night to night, you want to reward them, especially uh, when they're shooting the ball well.